Hello there, Eric Controller. Here we're going to play a old game, a classic. Um, this one is going to be uh, Doom 3. It's expansion. What's it called again? It is, yes, Resurrection of Evil. Um, I chose this game uh, because, well, a couple of factors. Uh, recently, I uh, played the Doom 3 in fully in VR from start to finish. It was a a mod that I uh, discovered on a YouTuber's channel that allows you to play the entire game in virtual reality. And I was like, huh, wow, that's that's pretty cool. I want to try that. So I um, got the mod, and then I found out that in order to actually uh, get it to work, you need to get the BFG edition of Doom 3, which means that it comes with Resurrection of Evil. And, uh, of course, I, you know, Fine, that's that's fine. I'll I'll do it. I got it, and um, I played it, and it was a pretty great experience. I mean, probably the best VR game I've played, to be honest, just because of how full scope it was. It was it was it was Doom Three, so it was a, a whole game. But anyhow, it dawned on me that since this came with Resurrection of Evil, I've never actually played that that expansion of the game and I remember it came out a, a while ago and I had been meaning to play it when it came out it had come out but I just never had the opportunity so yeah like what 15 years later without further ado let's let's give this one a run so here we go we'll go with uh, marine let's not be a baby about it USC's Mars Research Base suffers a cataclysmic mechanical failure during a classified research experiment resulting in total destruction of the facility. Only one survivor is located. Yeah, mechanical failure. Right. An orbital probe records a faint unidentified signal broadcast from the abandoned Mars Site 1 complex. The UAC announces the renewal of its Mars research program. Great idea! Dr. Elizabeth McNeil is chosen to lead the primary ass uh, assessment team. So, I take it this is a, is a little bit afterwards. Dr. McNeil, they're close. Red team, we're showing your position less than 100 meters from the signal. But there's no data suggesting any ancient civ development in that area. I think they're up to something they just don't want us to know about. <laughs> Some things never change around here. That's, that's more true than you know. You know when somebody's expendable when they got a helmet on and you can't tell who they are. They got some nice weaponry though. Trouble with your transmission. <laughs> I need that I'm having trouble focusing on, on your face. Damn it. I can't see a thing. Move slowly. Do you hear that sound? What the hell is that? Look at that. Oh. Took off his helmet. He must be. That must be me. Whoa! You just killed your teammates accidentally. Trishka doll from hell. Our new reign begins now. Yeah. <coughs> 
Oh, okay. Well, oh. Uh, police nations. Dang, this is kind of deja vu. Everything just goes to crap like this. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hey. Hello. Don't mind if I take this, do you? Oh man! Oh, there we go. And yeah, that's one thing I will comment is like this is definitely not my favorite shotgun of all time. So I think I'll switch back to the pistol. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like this game um, kind of makes every, all my efforts in the first Doom Three game just kind of pointless. You know? Like, oh well, hell's invading anyhow. I kind of, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Mm, power set. Hey, sir? Good move. Okay, I got a power cell. Oh. Hey, these guys look different. <laughs> Whoa. Alrighty. Shells, nice. Uh, insert. Oh, alright. Okay, so we got an elevator system now. Excellent. Marine, come in. Marine, make me some marine. You need to make your way to the surface of that artifact. Alright. I... I think I was already planning to do that. Here we go. Oh, uh, PDA. Let's see. Got data disk. Is that the one I just got? Welcome to a new safer Mars. This briefing is safer. designed to inform all personnel of our mission goals and act as a reminder of our ongoing commitment to the safety of the entire uh -huh. universe. Oh, I'm excited, all right. You'll be part of what promises to be exciting discoveries. You are also laying the groundwork for the future UAC. He said that again. We ask for your cooperation in following all UAC procedures outlined in your team manual. Discuss any issues or problems. Uh oh. With team leaders Ooh, only. That was weird. For your safety. Kind of glitch there. They're just shaking their heads, you see that? Huh, I wonder why that keeps happening. Okay. Oh yeah, I can just keep going. I'm having a hard time hearing him, so I'm just going to continue on. Maybe I'll watch the video again. When I'm in a place that's not quite so loud. Oh, the trigger. Ooh. Nice dash, dash, dash. My cat just jumped up, or a cat named Loki. He just jumped up on my desk and scared the crap out of me. Stinking cat. I like how my uh, my flashlight is actually different in this game. It's uh, shoulder mounted, which is uh, much more likely scenario for a marine type situation. I would think that they would have a flashlight that, you know, would allow them to use a weapon at the same time. So that's good. Whoa.
Ooh. Enter the glowing door. Oh, sweet. All right, here's here's probably my favorite weapon of the whole game right here. Good old reliable standby. That is my assault rifle. Let's do this. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I think you didn't even that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Controller's fire for some reason. I'm not used to that. Oh, crap. Oh, that guy got me. Here we go. try using this thing Let's see what it does before I run out of ammo wait hey. hey. right. not missing anything oh well I probably am but oh well so hi buddy Oh. What? Come on, don't die. I mean, I guess that's convenient and all. Jeez, I'm angry with What a bummer. I mean, so far, like, he's the only non-player guy that I think I've seen kill anybody. That's, that's ad admirable, really. Okay. Well, I still want to see what the heart does. So, let's find a guy to use it on. Oh, well, but first I need to use the grabber. If I can, if I can properly locate it, that is. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Definitely feeling a, uh, a similarity to the gravity gun of Half-Life 2. Both of the games came out around the same time, so it kind of makes sense. This was the wonderful time in gaming, the gaming industry when uh, games were playing with physics. I mean, being able to play with physics was kind of a first, and I know Half-Life 2 was um, kind of the pioneer on that. <coughs> And in my opinion, it's probably what made the game like so good. Actually, like not just the story and the graphics and you know the new lip syncing technology that it had, but the ability to like not only ma manipulate graphics but just see graphics in live action quite as well done as they were done in that game. Uh, made, it, made it what it was, game of the year. Whoosh. Let's use the heart already. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. I, I don't know how to use it. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it just switches. 
Huh. Maybe I missed a, a uh, text bubble giving me a tutorial on how to use it. Hopefully not. That would be unfortunate, seeing how it's uh, probably pretty integral in the game. Alright, let's get to the surface. Hey, buddy. Ooh, got me. Not you, though, ha ha ha. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Let's try this out. Oh, dang. You smart. Let's try that again. That guy dodged it. Did you see that? It's actually kind of impressive. Let's see what this is saying. Power generator one current status generator online blah 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 diagnostic analysis I can't really interact with it so whatever oh tell you what it's actually kind of quiet here so I think I'll listen to that video now Let's see do I have some, some emails let's read those emails uh, first one is from Elizabeth McNeil a welcome message to all members of the site one expedition I just wanted to take a moment to welcome you to this most important mission all of you volunteered and I want to tell you how much I appreciate you doing so it is difficult to be away from friends and family for so long and we all miss earth's blue skies green grass and most of all breathable fresh air yeah you're bound to miss that one real quick however the opportunity we have here is historic I believe we are in the uh, are on the precipice of an archaeological find of profound proportions that will forever change not only our view of Mars and the ancient civilization that once inhabited it, but also how we see ourselves in the cosmos. Like all things worthwhile, this expedition will not be easy, but we will do everything we can to make it as pleasant and safe as possible. Funny how that worked out. Please adhere to all safety procedures that were presented in flight and report any problems or issues immediately to your supervisors. Thank you for your attention. Sincerely, Dr. Elizabeth McNeil. Um, I should probably get a hold of my supervisor? This is from Sergeant Hernandez. Hey team, we need you to saddle up. Krakow has asked for more security down at the dig site. Hope be have your people down there ASAP. Okay. Welcome to a new safer Mars. Thank you. This briefing is designed to inform all personnel of our mission goals and act as a reminder of our ongoing commitment to the safety of the entire UAC family. There are many reasons to be excited about this new UAC Mars mission. Not only will you be part of what promises to be exciting discoveries, you are also laying the groundwork for the future of the UAC. We ask for your cooperation in following all UAC procedures outlined in your team manual. Discuss any issues or problems with team leaders only. And for your safety, please stay in your team designated areas. Our continuing commitment to safety includes advanced training for all of our security detail. Our security team ratio has been doubled from our last Mars mission to provide our workers with the absolute safest working conditions. The UAC knows that safe workers are happy workers, and we will continue to do everything in our power to provide a secure workplace. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your stay on Mars. So it sounds like it's just it's just pretty much a total repeat of the first go around. The UAC Nothing special, just more security. It is an ideal redundant energy solution for military and commercial applications. Once deployed, the AM3 can sustain a power output of up to 750 megawatts off a single cell for up to 50 years. Oh. An optional dual chamber model is also available, delivering up to <coughs> 5 gigawatts of sustained power. This makes the AM3 the ideal portable power source for the most demanding industrial no and kidding. military hardware. 
Powered by proprietary UAC Magzeal antimatter canisters, the AM3 allows for safe transportation, even in the harshest of environments. Boasting zero waste emissions, thanks to the most advanced gamma ray radiation shields, the AM3 is the environmentally safe energy solution for all your portable energy needs. Well, great. That must have been the recording I just picked up. Yeah, I guess that they had to uh, rec try and recover their losses from the last time. I'm going to take a moment to just, uh, well, I guess not. Wait, I was talking. Talking. Come here. I want to play baseball with your face. Or not. Hey. Whatever. I was saying, I want to take a moment to just appreciate the, uh, the architecture here. I, I do like... I like games um, that have a lot of environment to observe and absorb. Like, these... Catacombs, this sort of like catacomb environment that I'm in is pretty interesting and definitely a, is a contrast to the first Doom 3. I like it. Ah, environment. Anyhow, um, I think I'm going to call it good right there for this episode. Um, it's only 20 minutes long this time around, but um, I'll probably go longer um, in the future episodes to come. Um, so I hope you guys uh, en enjoy this uh, video series I'm about to make. Uh, <laughs> not much choice if you do not or do, but I'm gonna keep playing it. Yeah. So, but anyhow, if you have any uh, questions or comments, please feel free to uh, leave them. And uh, if you like this game and my let's play of it, give me a thumbs up. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.